Some of the best rewards in the game are obtained in the competitive field pass. Today we're talking about the comp pass and the fastest way to get through this bad boy. Let's get right into it. Yo, what is going on everybody? Steins here. We're back with another video. And today we're talking about the competitive field pass right here i'm gonna give you guys some strategies on how to get through these a little quicker i'm sitting at level nine right now i should be a lot higher than that um i haven't been able to play the game a whole lot as i had a, I have a weird schedule it's like a two days on two days off kind of thing so if you guys have a lot more time you guys will be a much higher level than what i am so if you guys are new right here be sure to subscribe to the channel throw a like on the video if you guys enjoyed also big news here want to let you guys know no money spent we're no longer doing that anymore your guys support on the channel has been amazing i did a poll on my channel asking you guys if you guys would still watch if we were no longer no money spent and most of you guys did vote and say that you would still watch if i was money spent now we're not going to go too crazy like we're not going to spend thousands of dollars a month uh, we might throw in a couple bundles here and there obviously we'll make videos out of it i just think this is an opportunity for me to expand on the channel a little bit channel's been doing well you, you guys have been killing it in the comments throwing likes down below all that stuff i appreciate you guys doing all that it's growing the channel enabling us to do more in the game and have a little more fun i just wanted to put that out there no money spent we're not going to be doing that anymore and again thank you guys for the support on the channel also underdog fantasy Here's our picks for the season on week one. You can now make those slips for week one. So if you guys want to check that out, use code SNODS at checkout. They will double your first deposit up to $100. All that stuff is in the description. So be sure you check that out. Underdog, that's the best way to support the channel. So Comp Pass, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, first things first, if you guys are having a hard time finding the Comp Pass, all you have to do is go over to objectives right here in the live events and then hold down your left trigger and find the competitive field pass tab right here so let's jump into this right here there's a lot of really good rewards in here i i will definitely give the game that um let's take a look at some of the rewards that are in here first we got red zone packs we got midfield packs now red zone packs are not what they used to be i remember red zone packs being really good packs and they're not really that good anymore um, but it's cool we do get a few of those within a pretty short amount of time within the field pass um you also get headliners packs more red zone midfield you're getting coins in between these 15,000 coins 10,000 coins these are big boosts in the coin stack and also make sure you're hitting the right trigger on some of these as you do get extra xp for completing some of these milestones if you're wondering what this xp is for it is for your season pass so if you complete level 17 you get 50,000 XP towards your season field pass. That is huge progression. So if you're grinding the comp pass, you're killing two birds with one stone here. You're grinding the field pass as well. Now, how do we progress this? How do we get through this thing really, really quick? We also have to keep in mind the first 1,000 people get that, that get that AJ Terrell and the George Pickens will have a different version of that player, right? If you just naturally go through the competitive field pass, you'll get those players, but they will not be sellable. If you're the first 1,000 player to get to that point in the field pass, you will be able to sell these players. And let me tell you, those players are not going to be cheap. I'm talking millions of coins. So if you can get there quick enough, you're going to make yourself a lot of coins. If you're looking to build that coin stack and get the best team in mud, be sure to check out MMOEXP.com. Build those coins, build your squad, be sure to use code SNODS at checkout to save 5% off on your order. Link will be in the description down below. But I don't have that kind of time. I, like I said, my work schedule, just, it does not work that way. Uh, I, I don't do this full time, so I probably won't be the top 1,000. But hey, if you guys have plenty of time and you like to grind, you could definitely do it. Uh, so first things first, we'll go to the daily tab right here. This These are different stats. Um, keep in mind, these are different every single day and it's different from person to person if we remember in past years the daily objectives were the same every single day and now this year it's different and i like that they did this forces you to focus on different things so today my objectives are record two sacks in a single game score 15 touchdowns and pass for 200 yards now the best way to complete these is to do it through solo battles pretty much anything that is stat related is through solo battles everything that we're seeing right here i could literally get in one game of solo battles so keep that in mind daily objectives if you're trying to get those done you want to do it through solo battles you're going to get coins 
You're also gonna get XP right here. If you just hover over the stat here, it lets you know how much XP you're gonna be getting in the comp pass. And it's pretty good, it's pretty good progression. Six XP, four XP, and two XP. That's pretty big. Going over to the next tab, we're just gonna go tab to tab. This is Mutt Champs. Mutt Champs is the weekend league, of course. We have the entire week to get these done. Now here's my opinion on the competitive field pass for Mutt Champs. I think that Mutt Champs is probably the most rewarding, but we also have to keep in mind that Mutt Champs is probably one of the harder harder modes when it comes to head to head play. So if you guys are good players, you should be able to get through these uh, pretty quick. Another thing we gotta keep in mind is that there's only 25 games, right? So once you play 25 games and you haven't completed these stats, you can no longer continue to grind these stats out. But if you guys play 25 games, you're gonna complete a, a pretty big chunk of these Munt Champs XP objectives. And if you look right here, there's so much. Just for getting 10 rushing touchdowns, you're gonna get a total of 26 total XP towards the comp pass. Now keep in mind here, if we take a look at the right side, if we hover over the stat, there's milestones in between that. So if you if you don't rush for 10 touchdowns, let's just say you rush for three, you're still getting eight XP, which is, that's huge. So that's really cool to know that you don't have to complete the entire stat line. You can just get five or uh, six, three, whatever. Just do the most you can really. And pretty much all of these stats right here that we see have that same milestone system. So you can get XP points in between there. You don't have to get the max number that we're seeing right here especially for people like me that's not going to be able to complete this every single week so good to see that next one this is a big one going to solo battles and as you can see right here i have completed every single one of these because these are ridiculously easy the only problem is it's just it's just time consuming but if you complete these you're going to get yourself a huge boost in the comp pass um literally all you have to do is jump into solo battles and play on rookie and you know get a notepad piece of paper i have one right here next to me um just write down all the stuff all the stats that you need so you know what you need to accomplish in that solo battle you don't want to just jump into a solo battle focusing on one stat you want to focus on a bunch of different stats that you are close to completing uh, this is the same scenario you have milestones in between uh for example attempt 10 two-point conversions we get a milestone for just attempting three so that's big right there. Um, you can write that down as well to see where you are in the objectives. That way you can just jump to the next game. You don't have to jump back into the stats here to check to see where you're at. Uh, writing things down is huge when it comes to that. But keep in mind, solo battles is probably the easiest out of all this. So the XP points are a little lower than everything else. This one's head to head seasons. This is the one that I've been trying to bust out the most. Uh, I don't know if there's like a visual glitch going on here, but it says return kickoffs for 150 yards and I've done it. And it says that I'm done, but there's no check next to it. So I don't know what's going on right there, but very similar to Mutt Champs. The stat lines are different. Make sure you don't know the difference in stats between head to head seasons and Mutt Champs. Um, another thing to keep in mind right here, head to head seasons. If you guys play on the all Madden version of head to head seasons, this also does count towards that. I've seen a lot of people think that those stats don't count no they do so all madden all pro whatever you want to play you can grind and complete these stats as well and just throwing that out there you guys should be playing on all madden because mutt champs going forward is going to be on all madden so there's really no reason to be playing on all pro anymore and last but not least this is the big one right here the big stat milestones these are going to be giving you the best boost when it comes to grinding the comp field pass these are gonna be the most time consuming, but they're also gonna get you huge boosts. Now these milestones, I'm not really focusing on these milestones. These are just kind of happening as they as they go. You know, you're, you're playing solo battles, you're playing head-to-head -head seasons, you're playing mutt champs. Like 250 points, I've gotten that. 40 touchdowns, 250 team tackles. I wasn't even focusing on it. And I'm really close to completing a lot more of these. And just look at the comp XP you're getting for this, 29. Um, I've completed 18 of this already, 32, I've completed 20 of these already. Keep in mind, you guys, the milestone in between these numbers are there as well. So 2,500 total, uh, I got seven for getting 1,500 rushing yards. So we're getting there, we're getting close. 
But again, I'm not focusing on these. And probably the only one I'm going to have to focus on is kick three, uh, 30 field goals because I don't really kick field goals a whole lot. So I'll probably have to focus on that on solo battles. That's another thing to remember that these stats do count towards solo battles. So if you're someone that doesn't really feel confident in much champs or head to head seasons, just go into solo battles grind all of these stats out you're gonna probably complete them quicker than everyone else because solo battles is so easy when you play on rookie you can literally do anything you want here's how i look at it right if you're trying to just get all the stats the milestones done all of that and you don't care about grinding the game i would recommend doing solo battles on rookie now this is going to be the most boring thing in the world this is why i don't do it because it's super boring and it burns you out really really quick you can get milestone stats done really fast if i focus just on solo battles i probably have all of these done and a big chunk of the comp pass done it's just that's how i, I don't know that's how i play i don't i i want to go online and play but solo battles man it's it's very underrated how quick you can get this comp pass done if you just focus on solo battles but if you're someone like me that likes to play head to head a lot um what i would do if you have a lot of time in your hands try to complete mutt champs you have the entire week to get this done 25 games for an entire week really isn't that much so even if you lose a lot who cares right you're still you're you're gonna be getting a lot of stats here even the games that you do get some w's on you're gonna be getting a lot of these stats completed really much all it's come to to get rewards is just to play the game so that's really all you need to do here when it comes to mutt champs you're gonna get some wins here and there keep practicing the more you play the game you're gonna get better at it and you're eventually going to be good enough to get a bunch of wins and complete the entire Mutt Champ stat line, which would be awesome. And then once you get to your 25 games, if you do, jump into head-to-head -head seasons, play on all Madden, and start completing these. Don't get discouraged if you don't complete these. You're going to complete some milestones in between there, which is huge. So yeah, if, if you're looking to complete this comp pass, just remember you don't have to complete every single one of these stats game will give you enough to get the complete thing done but yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what level you guys are at in the comp pass it's gonna be it for me boys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm out of here peace